Hey there, welcome to Flurn. Today, we're gonna to show you how to remove unwanted logos and other objects from your photos. Obviously, you can do this sort of thing during the photo shoot just by changing some clothes, but if you didn't think of it or have any other restrictions, it's really easy to do in Photoshop. So here we are, we've got our sample image. You guys can download this for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. We're gonna go ahead and zoom into the area we wanna remove, this Coca-Cola logo, and I wanna get rid of this yarn here on the bottom as well. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to our background layer. I'm gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that layer. Now, because the Coca-Cola logo is on a super simple background, it's just white fabric, we can use automatic tools like Content Aware Fill to get rid of this without having to do almost any work. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing my lasso tool. You can hit L for your lasso tool. And then I'm just gonna make a selection right around my Coca-Cola logo. So you can just kind of like draw selection right around there, it doesn't have to be perfect. Something like that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go to Edit and then down to Content Aware Fill. What this does is it uses technology to figure out what areas might be similar. And you can see these like green highlighted areas is where it's actually gonna draw information from. Now I have an option here, I can use the plus or a minus to add or subtract from my selection. So let's go ahead and minus out this collar up here. We don't need to get information from there. And let's go ahead and minus out the drawstring here. So as you can see, it's gonna pull information from all of this area to fill in the Coca-Cola logo. And here we have a little preview of what it's gonna do. It looks really good. So we're gonna output this. You can either choose a new layer, or in this case, I'm gonna choose a current layer because I've already created a duplicate layer. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and here we can see Controller Command D select, and boom, <laughs> it did a really nice job. Now, as you can see, we do have some repeating elements. We have this area here, this little corner, and then another one here, and then another one there. So what happens in those cases is you wanna grab your next tool called the Healing Brush Tool. This tool looks like a little Band-Aid. It's right over here, the Healing Brush Tool. Now with this tool, you can actually sample areas that you want and then simply copy the texture from one area to another. So let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Up here in the very top, I have my options for my healing brush tool. Right here for it says sample, I just wanna pick current and below. It's gonna pick this layer and anything under it. So I'm gonna hold alt or option to sample this area right here. This is the texture that I want, it's nice and clean. There we go. And then I'm gonna simply paint over the texture I wanna replace and boom, we're good to go. We're gonna do this here over every little area where it's kind of filled in the basically like repeating textures. So as you can see, like basically in just a couple of seconds, we're able to remove that Coca-Cola logo. Super cool. Now, what happens down here on the bottom? Let's go ahead and just merge these layers together. Control or Command E. Now, let's see if I grab my lasso tool again. I'm gonna hit L for my lasso tool and I'm gonna say, okay, let's try to use the same tool for this area as well. I'm gonna go to edit down to Content Aware Fill. And let's see how it does. We're gonna zoom in here to the little preview and you can see it does not look that great. <laughs> we just have a bunch of jagged edges and this is not something that's actually gonna work. So let's hit cancel there. We, we can't use that tool, okay? Now, what about our healing brush tool? What we were just trying to use before. I'll sample this area and kind of paint it in there. But what we're gonna get is a lot of like blurry edges around here too because the surface area and like what we're actually working with changes, right? We have like skin and then we have an edge and then a shirt and it just kind of like tries to blur all that together. Now that worked totally fine over here where we had just white cloth because it just blurred that together and looks like white cloth. But where we have these edges, we need to get a little bit more precise. Okay, so for that, we're gonna grab our next tool and this is called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. So with this, let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Up on the top, just make sure it's sample all layers is checked, super important. And now we can just simply start painting over this area and it's gonna use the same content aware technology to kind of fill in those gaps. It's gonna know, okay, cool. You wanna get rid of that thing? Let's look for uh, basically similar areas around it and fill in those gaps. So this is an extremely easy tool to use. You can simply just paint over the objects you want gone and most of the time it's gonna do a really good job. Sometimes you might have to paint over it a couple of different times for it to do you know, exactly what you want. It's not a mind reader tool. There we go. But for the most part, as you can see, looks pretty good. 
Now, sometimes it's not perfect, right? Like for the most part, it did the job that I want, but like this doesn't look that great. So what we're gonna do now is grab our clone stamp tool, which creates a duplicate, like a direct copy of wherever you sample. And we're gonna use that to kind of fix things up a little bit. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. S for the clone stamp tool looks like a little stamp icon here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just sample this area here, this little dip. Okay, because it looks kind of similar there. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click there. There we go. And I'm gonna just start painting in right over here. And then look at that. I got a direct copy of this little dip thing. Okay, and it all just kind of blends together pretty nicely. Over here, we wanna do maybe the same thing, right? So we'll just sample this area here, Alt or Option. There we go, kind of fix that up a little bit. Sample this area here, kind of fix that area too. There we are. So I'm kind of piecing this together as you can see. All right, and then here, this area doesn't look so great. So I'm gonna just sample right here and then we're just gonna paint it in right up there for our edge. There we go, edge looks good. And then right down here, I'm just gonna sample in the little background area and paint it right up there. There we go. So you can see by kind of piecing these different tools together, we're able to work on different parts of the image and wind up with a really nice clean result. And again, if I wanna sample this and kind of clean up anything that maybe the spot healing brush tool, tool didn't do perfectly, I'm able to do that as well. So let's go ahead and turn all of those off and back on. And now you can see we're left with a much cleaner image with all the branding and logos removed. There are so many times when removing distractions from your photos can make a huge difference in focusing in on your subject. No photo shoot is perfect and oftentimes there's so many things in your photo that you could do without and learning how to remove these can create a huge impact on your images. Your Flurn Pro membership includes this tutorial and hundreds of others. Join now on Flurn.com. Thanks so much for watching. We've got more episodes coming up in this series where we're gonna be using more advanced tools to get the job done quickly. Thanks again, I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.